grab your wife, better get out of sight. You, 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 you. Every day I'm shuffling. In this form, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach. This is a naked man. He was shot dead on Saturday by police because he was gnawing off another man's face. Dead Island is not a perfect game. Fuck! Goddamn! The concept of a perfect game really would vary from person to person, but it seems like there are some elements that we all agree a game that is considered great should have. Dead Island doesn't get a 10 out of 10 in important categories like having a compelling story or stellar gameplay mechanics, iconic visual and audio design, or that draw you back in replayability. The title of this video doesn't suggest that Dead Island is a perfect game, but rather it says that Dead Island was the perfect game for 2011. It was in the right place at the right time. Now what the fuck does that mean? Mentioned it before, but the late 2000s and early 2010s were a magical time. Now of course it seems that way because the three of us were in grade school. Hard to forget those days being bored in class, learning about George Washington Lincoln, when all three of us really just wanted to do one thing. Let's fucking kill some Zombies. zombies were everything at the time. You slapped zombies on anything and it would sell. We even had real life zombies thanks to the undefeated combination of hard drugs and a Florida man. But zombies were especially successful in the video game industry. At this time in 2011, the Resident Evil series was deep into their catalog. Treyarch started including the beloved zombie game mode in every installment they made and Left 4 Dead was there if you actually had a group of friends. But at this time we were longing for something different, something huge, something not so linear. We wanted an open world zombie game. I personally remember thinking to myself at the time how I'd give anything to be able to just roam a big beautiful world where there's just this constant threat of zombies looming. You gotta remember at the time open world games were few and far between, especially good open world games. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I randomly stumbled upon the trailer on IGN's YouTube and it was for this new and upcoming open world zombie game that you could play with your friends called Dead Island. I just can't explain how shocked I was at the concept I wanted more than anything was finally coming and it would be even harder to explain how excited I was. It's impossible to speak for the world, but we'd say public reception was pretty solid. At this point in 2011, publishing company Deep Silver and developing company Techland didn't really have a long list of moneymaker games, maybe one. So for both the publisher and developer to be close to the top 10 in game copies sold in 2011 is a hell of an accomplishment. Now to speak for ourselves, we wholeheartedly believe this game delivered on the hype. Disclaimer. Our grade school brains would have been solely satisfied on the account that it was an open world zombies game, but we got so much more than that. Not only was it open world, but it was multiplayer. The character variety was solid, Sam B, also knows the Pimp of the Dead, sticking out the most. It also had an extensive weapon crafting system that opened the door for creative combat. Also, the crafting system would reward the player for exploring the beautiful world to loot. Speaking of the world, the tropical island of Benoit was such a cool and unique backdrop to contrast to this chaos-filled game. Now let's take a deeper dive in that environment. We are sure you all noticed what we noticed scattered across the beautiful, lively, tropical island. You couldn't look left, you, you couldn't look right, you certainly couldn't look up, and you for damn sure couldn't look down without seeing those patented propane tanks. Yes, that's, that's right, propane tanks. It was clear that the developers were avid fans of the timeless 2000s adult animation cartoon, King of the Hill. And specifically, the beer swinging, what? middle finger flipping, what? Texas rattlesnake, what? stoke, Hank Hill. 
If you listen closely to the boss battle against the Butcher, you can ever so faintly hear the voice of America's hero, Hank Hill. So help me God, I'll tear you a new one bigger than the Grand Canyon. Replay if you need, but did you catch the Butcher murmuring the classic Hank Hill line? So fucking iconic. Now we know about Deep Silver's inspiration for including propane and propane accessories in their game, but let's take a step back and show some appreciation for the studio's inclusion of these items. Madison, can you help me find a zombie? We need to take this motherfucker out. This is so much easier if I just throw it and then walk. Oh, shit! Hey, dig at the bottom of the whale so many times, bro. You don't get got. It happens to the best of us. So I thought that was the surefire method to move that tank. Eric, there is gonna be a part in this that I really want you to clip. It's me fucking with that tank and eventually I fucking explode for a minute. Eric, I also want you to get in the part when you're clipping that when AU blows up and he thinks it's because he threw the tank too many times, but it's actually because I blew it up. I know what I must do, but I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to do it. Wow. Now it's hard to tell whether or not the developers were putting in so much effort on the propane tanks as a love letter to both Hank Hill and the fans of video game propane tanks, or if they were gunning for the highly competitive annual Game Awards trophy, the year's best propane tank. I suppose speculating their intentions on the details of the tank is simply a time waster because the end result was them snagging the trophy at the end of the year. And we all know winners write the history, so. It is whatever story they want to tell. Now it is reported towards the end of the development cycle, the crew at Techland and Deep Silver were anticipating their new IP Dead Island would be known mostly for its groundbreaking driving mechanics. I mentioned it before, Deep Silver and Techland were not cranking out successful games at the time. Towards the end of the cycle, they started to run out of money. They started to panic. And in the wake of the panic, president at Deep Silver Games, Corey's dad from the hit anime show Corey in the House, who was a close buddy to the late Henry Ford, who was still alive at the time, Corey's dad in desperation reached out to Mr. Ford to see how they can work together. Ford would supply Corey's dad with the amount of money necessary to finish the product but in return, they would pull off one of the biggest sabotage jobs in video game history. Henry Ford wanted to be known for having the best compact truck in the entire industry. But that pesky Japanese company Toyota and their stupid dumb dumb truck the Hilux, which was such a successful truck that they didn't even need to sell it in the US or Canada, it would have made Toyota too much money. Anyway, Henry knew he had to do something. He told Corey's dad he could have as much money as he wanted just as long as he modeled all the drivable trucks after the damn Hilux and the killing blow to make those trucks the worst fucking vehicles in video game history. Sam B got the thing that runs over zombies, it's called a truck. Oh shit bro, Sam B, I know why you got that license revoked. Sam B's been drinking a little bit. You know I got motion <laughs> Hey, I'm driving here. Sam B got that thing that made me question my sexuality. God, oh, dude, I need to get a massive car. It's not that bad. God damn, he's wrecked four times. God damn, dude, holy <laughs> shit. You're lucky you're getting there at all with fucking how much he's had tonight. Gotcha. All right. I think we can get out now. <laughs> we made it. Motherfuckers with trucks really think they can just park wherever they want. Where's our fucking truck? All right, boys, you're gonna wanna hop on in. Oh, fuck, we're stuck a little bit. Somebody wanna give us a push. Maybe we can blow it up. Or you think I should plant the explosive? All right, stand back and fire in the hole. <gasps> it did not move. Yep, did not budge. You go reverse, like backwards. First. What do you think I was trying? Sideways? B parked this car so good, it's gonna stay parked here forever. I'm bringing in the backup. Yeah, can you guys pick me up over here? I'm, uh, I'm coming in. We're on our way. Oh, I just leveled up. Uh, yeah, that killed me. Yeah, let me drive the boat. I got this. No, no, please. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah, we might be in a worse spot than when we, when we were. <laughs> The moon will, the moon, the moon, the moon will, the moon will be in a worse spot. The moon will, 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 the
this truck's a little stuck now too. Yeah. Ram me, please. Ram me in the rectum area. What am I stuck on? Get out and take a look. <laughs> I'll go run and grab a third vehicle. If we have three trucks, there's nothing they can do to stop us. Yeah, what type of repair service is this shit? My, my truck's been the fucking resort shop for fucking ages. And all they do is keep ramming other trucks into it. Yeah, like that's gonna fucking fix anything. Help me, please. Yeah, sorry, bitch, I can't. Uh, I got business to attend to. Yeah, watch out, boys. I'm coming in hot. Oh, oh, nice job, Maz. I feel like I'm about to get stuck, though, if I do this again. Keep going. I think if I come from behind, I might be able to get you. Yeah, just keep doing that. Just keep doing- Oh, ram me. I'm a little stuck, Ski. Oh, no. Our only hope. What, like, what's going on? Why can't I move? No particular reason. <laughs> The game was a success financially, especially when compared to other games in the Deep Silver and Techland catalog, it was a smashing success. They surpassed over 5 million copies sold in a short year and a half span. To put that in perspective, that same year, there was an Assassin's Creed game that came out, Revelations. Revelations barely outsold Dead Island in a two year span. And obviously Assassin's Creed was a majorly popular franchise with a huge fan base and a giant and rich publishing company to back it. All that to say Deep Silver and Techland didn't get to enjoy their huge payday for long. Because coming from stage left, the lawsuit. It is impossible to forget one of the best promotional collabs in video game history, Dead Island and Triscuits. These two went together like peanut butter and jelly, Shaq and Kobe. Magic Johnson and HIV. These two really went all in, in terms of collabing. Trisket boxes had Sam B's cute ass face on them. There was that classic commercial of Sam B parroting his own song. Grab the hell to snack, so you ain't whack. Who do you Trisket, bitch? And the biggest piece of advertising they did together. When you start a gaming session of the hot new game, Dead Island this fall, don't forget to grab a box of Triscuits while you're at it. The combination of these two are totally explosive. Of course, when this commercial dropped, everyone assumed it was some funny but creative way to increase the sale of Triscuits. Unfortunately, it is not that sweet and innocent. The developers at Techland were actually growing tired of the distributing tycoon company known as Tabisco, maker of Triscuits. It seemed like a great collab in the eyes of the public, but without getting into too many grotesque details, things were ugly. The talented folks at Techland were able to work with scientists and evaluate how a Triscuit enters the body and how it affects the body. Everyone knows that motion is connected to the stomach. Common to see someone hop off a roller coaster and puke their guts out, or a person can get serious stomach issues if they catch some motion sickness. After all the research, they knew if they built a very detailed motion blur system for the game that would specifically affect the stomach in a way that would clash the way a Triscuit would affect the stomach, if pulled off, they could sabotage Triscuit and their brand identity. Everyone's shitting their brains out, their sales will go down, and that is exactly what happened. <sighs> Triscuits? Dude, you have the fucking weakest stomach of all time. Fuck, I shouldn't have had Triscuits. I'm gonna shit myself right now, I think. Uh-oh. I got a beer bag. Oh, good God almighty. Eric right now on that toilet. <laughs> Eric right now on that toilet. Nope. What? Hold on. Eric right now on that toilet. Damn! I just wanna fucking make Eric blow up while he's in the bathroom. Is that such a hard thing to ask for? Oh, wait, is he back? I gotta do it fast. Eric in the bathroom right now? King is returned. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that shit worked alright. Hey, you need a hand, brother? Hey, don't worry. We've all, we've all taken shits like that before. Dead Island was a perfect capsule of the times in 2011. But we already talked about that. We nailed that coffin in already. But in another way, it was ahead of its time. By being a political commentary on a United States presidential election 
that wouldn't happen for another decade. And it all started with one Arizona Cardinals wide receiver who also just so happened to love our national anthem. Hey, look at these gas prices, guys. It looks like Joe Biden's back in office. <laughs> Trump 2024 and 2028 and 2032 and 2036 and 2040. No, can't have that. You can thank F or not F Scott Fitzgerald. FDR for that. <laughs> Thanks, F Scott Fitzgerald. Oh, say can you see? Thank you for term limits, F Scott Fitzgerald. Thank you, Larry Fitzgerald. All of his receptions put Donald Trump in office. It might have. Somebody should do a case study on the effects of Larry Fitzgerald's football career on the 2016 election. For something to be perfect, it requires a lot of skill, determination, luck, and a little bit of KY jelly. If Corey's dad never met Henry Ford, Hank Hill never sold propane or propane accessories, or Deep Silver never had a vehement hatred for the Triscuit Company and Nabisco, the game wouldn't have been as successful as it was. It took all of these once-in-a-lifetime moments coming together at the same time to create the perfect storm. Now, 13 years in the future, we can look back and appreciate Dead Island for bringing all those components together. Fortunately for Deep Silver, all of this would soon be overshadowed when, in 2013, Edward Snowden famously used the video game successor, Dead Island Riptide, to leak thousands of confidential government documents before fleeing to Benoy to avoid prosecution. <laughs> uh, Overshadowed when in 2013, Edward Snowden famously used the video game successor, Dead Island Riptide to leak thousands of confidential government documents before fleeing to Benoy to avoid prosecution. But that's a story for another day. For right now, I just want to leave you with one question that you all need to ask yourselves. Who do you voodoo, bitch? No sleep, no food. No nothing. Just maniacism. <laughs> <laughs>